Welcome to X Play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, t- t- it's a very special episode okay. of Foreplay. It's handheld. You can put it in your mouth. Yeah, it's our very should... first 3DS game that we're actually covering. Why do I feel like we should edit that out? No. Okay. Put it no. Okay. It is the Foreplay Show. I'm Andrew here with Jamal, Paul, and Danny, and. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Let's Play of Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh, well, they nodded backwards. Oh, now they're going to think that he's... No, no, they nodded backwards. He, he's Paul now. <laughs> I'm Because Paul. he'd responded to Paul. And you responded to Danny! <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? I'm Jamal. Okay. That's Paul. That's Paul. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait no, I'm Mark. Wait that's Mark. a minute. This is Clifford. <laughs> Hughley, Winston, and I'm Bartholomew. Aw. Actually, right. uh, you know... <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, this is actually uh, the Magnus stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who and what the hell is Magnus? Uh, Magnus is like the only human in this game that you'll find, and he's a bona fide badass. That club that Pitt's holding right now is actually Magnus's because he's like a beefcake steroid monster. So he's the only human, but he's like towering over. That means Pitt must be really small. Well, Pitt's not that tall, but you know, Magnus is like a good, I don't know, six, seven foot. And he, he he's human. You're not supposed to be able to fight demons in this world, but Magnus will fuck that. I'll fight demons if I want to. <laughs> so is Magnus on your side? Uh, yes. Or is that like spoiler alert? Spoiler alert, maybe he isn't. Well, <laughs> no, he is. Yeah, he is. You, you'll, you'll actually see more when he comes out, mm-hmm. and yeah, it'll. He so doesn't like it. What's the whole premise of the game? Um, like, it's like the old one for for like the first uh, third of the yeah, game. Yeah, right. I see the two D um, side scroll right now. You are <laughs> you are an envoy of Palutena, and you have to go fight Medusa's army and uh, bring down Medusa because Medusa's like, I want to take over the human world, and you're like, mm mm, bitch. Pretty much. But um, for this one, it we are, I I won't give spoilers. Away. People can go ahead and play the game. That's no, gonna throw me off. Is like the way enemies are coming at you. It's like, okay, I'm gonna come from the side of the screen. They do the that all throughout, like... all throughout the flight versions. In every single level, there's a um, there's a flight segment which lasts for like I don't know, like five to ten minutes. Even though they say that your flight car can only last five minutes, that's large. Um, the <laughs> flight section where you're on a, like a set track and you just move around and you fight and shoot and. Well, slash yeah. Shit. So basically, if you've played uh, Star Fox, yeah. or Star mm-hmm. Fox 64, you base it's basically a rail shooter. In the okay. in the flight part, and yeah, then the after part. after the flight portion, there's a land mode where you can move around free will and you go around and you slash stuff. That's like the newer Star Foxes that nobody plays. For good reason, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually want I actually wanted to talk about that though. Basically, mm-hmm. how Star Fox can learn from this game. Yeah. Was it, uh, well, like basically, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it actually adds a little bit of diversity in there in terms of like different power ups you can get to shoot with. Um, Star Fox Command parts. doesn't count. That <laughs> game is a pile of dog shit. <laughs> but Star Fox Adventures. Was that a was a pretty good game, but it's not quite the Star Fox. Could, it it didn't really feel like, like a Star Fox. No, I just like the dino. Like if you if you can randomly <laughs> see the, the stuff that's happening, some every once in a while you'll you'll be able to shoot certain stuff <laughs> yeah. in the in the flight portions, and they'll give you power up. Like right now, he's got this like infinite shot thing where you can shoot your charge shots uh, as many times as you want for a limited amount of time. Other, there's kind of other has a power sonic thing like, going on where he's kind of like on this kind of. Yeah, you, the the screen just goes like where the bit wants, and you're just set on that path. So no, wait, it is, is it is it Palutena? Palutena? Palutena controlling you? Yes. Okay. She well, controls your She's basically path. chucking you into a wall. Yeah, she does uh, a couple times actually. <laughs> this is kind of like House of the Dead now. I mean, look, so the enemies oh, in the background, oh, the little projectiles oh, are slowly oh, coming at you. Oh, so that's integrating old school Star Fox and House of the Dead. So <laughs> there's a there's a couple levels like that where you get chased by a big enemy, and the cool thing is you have well, the option. Well, I saw Adventure Two with the truck, the gun truck. Oh god, that gun oh, truck! It comes back. Amazing. But um, in in the the flight things where things chase you, or sometimes you have different paths that you can choose, or you can kill the big monster before you even designated to run away from it, and it'll kind of change up the flight pattern. So in some levels, you can change your set trackness. Okay. Well, that's cool. They at least wait, wait, wait. Yo, but that's one thing Star Fox sixty four had that this game didn't is the context sen- sensitivity. Mm-hmm. Where it had a lot. Depending on what you would do, yeah, yeah, you, that's what disappointed me in this game. But at the same time, it is in Star Fox. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that's one thing Star Fox had that this game didn't. But there is somewhat a little bit of context sen- uh, sensitivity. Uh, remember how the difficulty doors? Yeah. So I guess that's the only influence you have in terms of context sensitivity is like you set the difficulty high and then the door opens up from your 
Um, just so you just so you guys know, um, difficulty doors randomly appear. Through, well, they are in set areas, but they're in each level, and they have a certain number on them. If you're playing on that difficulty or higher, the door will open up for you, and you can get treasure, or you can fight extra monsters, okay. and that stuff. If you're too low, then you can't go in, of course. I think I would like to see, you know, going back, something more Star Fox-esque, because, like, it's cool with the, how they do the camera stuff, but, but I think... Uh, Dreamcast. Dreamcast. I think I'd like to see a little <laughs> bit more um, choice with what's what's happening on the thing. Like, sure, you're going to a set destination no matter mm -hmm. what. Yeah. But, so this is the Dark you know, maybe Lord's there's castle. different ways to get yes. there. He and gives his player a little bit more option of what he wants to do or, or how he wants to go about it. Because, I mean, he's, he's just straight up road. You're really just straight up road over there with no real option on what to do. And now you can go where you want in the land. Yeah, now this is, like to this is definitely something that I'd say that Star Fox Assault should have, mm -hmm. the route they should have gone. It was so clunky. <laughs> It was terrible. The controls were awful. This game is that's another really controversial thing with this game was the controls. The controls. How this game would have mm -hmm. got such a this higher score if it weren't for the atrocious controls. <laughs> they're, okay, they're not atrocious, I don't, but they're yeah. really hard to use. I don't really feel that they're bad, but I if I if I was trying to market this towards younger children, I would have made them a lot easier because the controls in this game has a learning curve. Yes. If you if you just want to play on like two and not really see all the other like extra doors and stuff in the game, then you can you can kind of grasp it yourself. You'll be clunky at first but you won't die yeah. as much you want to play anything past like difficulty five or six you better know how to use the controls and it's a little bit weird in order to turn the camera you have to slide the uh, the stylus in different directions and you can aim the the same way i got used to it because i played with it for like a billion hours and other people would too if they're gamers if you're a casual you're not going to put as much time in this so it's not going to be as oh yeah um, if you're just engaging it over too though like when I was at your place and I was checking it out, mm -hmm. it didn't really grasp me. It's like, just on the fly, unless I had paid money for this, I probably wouldn't put the time in it, and I didn't. Not to say that, you know, it's a bad game, because mm -hmm. this game has done really well for itself, mm -hmm. but it does have that learning curve where, it, unless you were going to put the time into it, so I suggest it's going to be, yeah, it's going to feel down. funky. Yeah. Um, the controls do work well within themselves. Like uh, the <laughs> the uh, the dodging is like just a flick of the stick whenever an attack is close to you or an enemy is close to you, which is pretty cool because you can sidestep and attack um, with the shoulder that? buttons. But uh, <laughs> clubs yeah. clubs are pretty fun. They make you slow, but they're powerful. Oh, well. they are wow. so useful! Like in the flying stages, though, you can just deflect mm. projectiles that they're throwing at you. It's the only one. Oh my God! But there's just some stages, like the Reaper's Lair and the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that are just so difficult because, like if you don't use the staff because the boss fight against the giant reaper is just so painful with the club. It's a lot better if you have range for that, yeah. yeah. And, and I like that about this game is that there's what is there like seven different uh, seven or eight different weapons? Um, you can you can choose your play style. You can play with a bow, which is ranged and melee. You can play with clubs, which are a lot more melee. They have some range to them. You can play with stabs, which are like completely wow. ranged. Yeah. Is that the other half of Andros? <laughs> it's his little cousin. See, I was about to comment on like the lack of um, enemy variety in terms of not in terms of appearance, because that just blew the appearance way around the way. But in terms of how you defeat the enemies, it's the same fucking thing. I mean, another I think about old school games. There were different ways to defeat different enemies. Dodge. For example, uh, look at Mario. Goombas, you just hop on them. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Mm -hmm. Right. Flying Koopas, you have to time it well. Mm -hmm. um, certain enemies you couldn't even hop on. Look at Castlevania. Even though you only have a weapon to jump, there were there, there were certain ways to kill enemies. You had to do it right. So hard. They're, um, right. They're, they're but in this game, it's just you just fucking click and you club them. And no matter what kind of <laughs> model, they are, <laughs> yeah, click and you yeah, club. No matter what kind of enemy they are, or what the game the game designers intended to make in terms of like, oh, a different challenge, a different enemy. That it requires no knowledge of the enemy. You just swing your fucking club and you're gonna kill them. <laughs> so that's that's my only gripe so far. So so far, every enemy has had the same solution: swing on, your club, kill them. On that, I will say real quick that there are other. enemies enemies that can only be defeated in certain ways, and those are in uh, later levels, because this is like the second level. Uh -huh. This is the second or third level, I think. Oh, that's a lot of training. But, um, yeah, there's, there's, all, there's other oh, enemies, and there's also different versions of enemies. Oh, huh? Go ahead. I wanted to say... Well. That, okay, this is awesome. Here. I think this, Hope this if they integrated this work. into more games, like for example, ground missions with Star Fox, uh, mm -hmm. like Assault or Star Fox U or whatever. Yeah. You see how he's just running around with you? Now, wouldn't that be awesome if like the ground missions actually mattered where you actually had to keep your partners alive? 
There, <laughs> this actually has that too. In um, uh, I know you you probably looked at some of the, the yeah. extra things. It's to keep your ally alive while you're in a boss fight. You get like there's like four boss fights I think in which you have an ally, and they can they can go down during those boss fights yeah. and they take enough damage. And that would be awesome. I would love to see that in more games where like you just randomly get an ally on your team and you you can either have them alive with you when you find the boss or have them dead. It'll make it yes. easier harder. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because he's not just computer. He has his own health bar. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really, like really cool too because like if you keep them alive or you know if you don't if you stick around you don't kill the boss long enough you can mm -hmm. hear extra dialogue. Yeah, they just talk to you. Yeah, and I think that just seems so awesome. <laughs> but they don't. It's just I don't know. Boogity. it's really disappointing that they didn't do that with Star Fox this whole. On the enemies, one of the another grind because all the enemies are the same size and they have the same animations. They all hop up and down. Just <laughs> saying. <laughs> They're all in the it's, kind of, it's, it's like it feels like like if I were a player, I feel like I was killing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> It's almost like okay. that's just me though. That's just I'm, me. I'm yeah, really yeah. gonna stick with it. Like no, no, but I, I really, I really like that though because you do, you do have a valid point, and mm -hmm. I really like that you're not just worshiping the game. Like, <laughs> Here, Jamal, I know, you know right. it's like this game's great, but you know it's actually great that I'm you're just, pointing these things mm -hmm. out so we can discuss them. Yeah, I've got a little bit of regard, but like that's a basic. That's a basic. Yeah, see how they always kind of just kind of glide, same speed, mm -hmm. same animation, same bobbing up and down. This is this is right. This is nice, but still. Gliding, sliding, and then just what's the solution? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> There's um and, and and no special like there hasn't been any jump attacks. Um, jumping like, in this game is not very big. There's a special ability to jump. Otherwise, you can't jump. Oh, okay. You, you got angel wings, but you can't jump. Yeah, you're an angel. <laughs> well, that's the thing with um, Kid Icarus. It's in his story. In the other one too, he's got wings, but he can't fly without the help of Paladin. Okay. Isn't that cute? That is, that's a little adorable. <laughs> yeah, right. a little yeah, he's he's coated with everything. Even the items when they pop out, ding, 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 ding. They, like, they like jump out like that. Was that Castlevania wall chicken just now? <laughs> wall chicken? That was wall chicken. <laughs> that was wall chicken. <laughs> I wouldn't need that shit. What are you thinking? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, random. There's, there's always food all over see, the place. See, these are derpy underground, uh, um, underworld enemies. Wait, are there any enemies that have smooth movement in this game? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay, then okay, I was gonna say because <laughs> so far I'm seeing a pattern here. You know? <laughs> swing your club. Same animation, just new model. Yeah, exactly. Bop, 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 bop. I mean, I like the imagination behind the design. They all look really ridiculous. I don't know if there's some kind of theme going that, with the way they look. The okay, it there is. Okay, okay. All the heart. I had. I had camera problems right there, so oh, yeah, don't be jump. surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. All right. well, this, <laughs> is like, this is like two rooms over. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a couple rooms over. I didn't think realize the camera died. Nothing spits up enemies. He just oh, comes right. and he just spat yeah. out a giant poison bomb enemy. If Dude. you kill him up close, then he explodes. Oh no, if you kill him with a rage attack, he explodes into a poison cloud and you get poisoned. There's status effects in this game. Do the weapons okay. have like more of a force to them when you're fighting? Like, um, depends on which one you're using. Because, like, I'd like to see something like, you know, cool-ish, even with the, like the club slash great sword that whatever that he's that he's going with. Um, whenever sword. whenever you're attacking with certain <laughs> weapons, they have certain attacks. So there's a dash attack. That's what happens when you're running at an enemy and you attack. Yeah. There's regular attack combo. Um, like the club has two hit combo. The claws have five hit combo, so on and so forth. And um, there's also I forgot the point that I was, that I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm also not really feeling the weight of this weapon. Mm -hmm. The clubs, they make you heavy. They make you heavy and I, you make I you know slow. he looks, he's supposed to be slower, and I guess mm -hmm. maybe if he was using a different weapon, maybe I'd see him moving a lot faster. The claws and the, um, oh, but, oh but, yeah, um, yeah. You know, I think let's, let's in on Gao's go lair. and talk, talk about, let's say, ready. Monster Hunter. You're using the, the, the great sword, mm -hmm. and you're... You're slow. Well, you, you, in that one, your ball's slow because that's the that's the kind of play that you've got. The monsters aren't going to go anywhere. In Kid Icarus, sometimes you've got to fucking move. You've got to move or you're going to die. And you have to remain somewhat mobile. But with the with the claws, you're at least like two to three times faster than the um, than the, the than holding a claw. Your movement speed, your attack speed, all that stuff. You're weaker, of course, but you're a hell of a lot faster. Okay, let's, I'm just experiencing this boss fight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, just that like, so, so is, um, shiny. So. The Dark Lord Gowl. Dark Lord Gowl just randomly throws crap at you. He's going, I got balls of dark magic. Blah, 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 blah. So he's just teleporting around to shoot you. Yeah, and he like barrel rolls on. Oh, Do a barrel roll. Oh, I'm sorry. She... See more Star Fox. Parallel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then what's really awesome too is that they've got Metroids in this game too. Yeah. Really? <laughs> they acknowledge it in one level because they, this is kind of like a fun, like, uh, derby. Kind of game. Well, they make they make lots of jokes. 
And it's not like corny, but yeah, it's, it's kind of corny. It's very yeah. lighthearted. And they, um, in one of the levels, Pit goes, hey, there's little Metroids over here. And one of the goddesses you're supposed to take, uh, speaking to, she tells you to shut up because you're not supposed to mention anything like that yeah. because yeah, this yeah. universe has nothing to do with that universe. That is what she said. <laughs> Oh, okay. So oh, yeah, and at the beginning there. of this video, yeah. I forgot to mention, too, pay no mind to that background you're seeing. Uh -huh. like, that's not supposed to happen until later. You get the option to, you know, switch goddesses. Oh, yeah, themes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Themes for the game. But that, that's later on. You you I'm use um, Rudy's, too. To this. Oh, yeah. Gal yeah. Was a yeah. Human? You know, it's, for some reason, the other one annoys me. What have I done? I don't know. It's just so... You it tries to be so that. glorious when just it starts. Like, oh, well, yeah. she's the goddess of light. It's supposed to be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brie just has like so much she's more still personal. Holding on. I think as I haven't actually Brie used the styles to play this, do you think that the pace of the game's started. movement speed and the pace of how you control the camera is congruent, or do you think that the camera could have used a little more work? Or should have been auto camera. I actually, I actually think it works with um with all of the varying speeds of the weapons that you can have because you can affect the sensitivity as well. You can affect how That's quickly good. Okay. it spins. But you still have to manually control it. Like, there's no, there's no like Z targeting system like there's, not creating enough time. No, but there is a, a, there are like other powers in this game that you can equip, and one of them is uh, auto, <laughs> auto reticle. You can auto target stuff for a certain amount of time. Well, Andrew's right. failing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So basically, we've run out of time here. Um. Yeah, just stick around for the next episode, Heads of Hedra. We'll pick it up. And yeah, just don't forget to comment, <laughs> like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah! yeah. Alright, cool. That was cute. <laughs>